people will eventually tell on themselves the minute God elevates you they really hate to see you shine chosen ones shout out to the WTC gang for we still chosen after the accident let me tell you something chosen ones it's sad how people really hate to see you doing better than them And this is why you should never dim your light to make people feel comfortable. Because people are so used to you being broken. They're so used to you going through the struggle. They don't even know how to approach the new you, chosen ones. They don't even know how to appreciate your value. They don't know how to give you credit when credit is due, chosen ones. I mean, I'm telling you, you elevating right now. And people are starting to tell themselves, see, at first, when you was going through the struggle, you couldn't really figure people out. You didn't know if people was for you. Hey, man, you didn't know if people was against you. Hey, man, you didn't know if people had your best interest at heart because you was going through it. You was lost. Hey, man, you was confused. You didn't really know your worth. You didn't even know, hey man, anything about your calling. You didn't know anything about a purpose. Let's keep it real. When you was going through the struggle. But why all of a sudden the minute God elevates you? Why all of a sudden the minute God takes you to a whole nother new dimension? Why all of a sudden God put you in a, in a, in a, in a brand new position? This where people, true colors begin to come out. Because guess what? These are the same people that doubted you. These are the same people that counted you out. These are the same people that thought you was going to be a nobody. But look at God. He made you somebody special. Understand what I'm saying? And this is why, guess what, chosen ones? I'm begging you. I'm, I'm, I'm daring you to make people feel uncomfortable this year. Before this year is even over with, I dare you, amen, to pull up in your new whip. Pull up in your new whip. Get ready to move to your new house. You should be shining bright like a diamond because look where God has brought you from. Let these naysayers say whatever they got to say. Because it don't matter if you're doing good or bad. People are going to talk about you. They're going to judge you regardless. So you might as well win. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say you can talk about me all I want. Because with God, I shall reign. With God, I shall live. With God, I shall win in this season. A lot of people wanted to take you out, chosen ones. A lot of people really try to manipulate you. They try to gaslight your mind. Amen. They try to play with your gift. They try to play with your destiny. But God said, no, touch not my anointed one. Do my chosen one. No harm. And you have to understand, every time you walk into that room, guess what? You got the hammer pans on. And you asking me, JTC, what is the hammer pans? The hammer pans came out in the 1980s by the rapper name of MC Hammer. But before they called them the hammer pans, they used to call these pans the parachute pans. And as I was reading this, I said, wait, wait a minute, parachute pants. That means every time you walk into these, these, these rooms full of demonic spirits, full of jealousy and envy people, guess what? You got your hammer pants on. You focus and you're elevating. You got the hammer pants on. You got the parachute pants on. You, that means you get ready to take off to a whole other level. And you wonder why people are giving you that stank face. You wonder why people are giving you the evil eye. You wonder why people, hey man, every time you walk into the room, they looking at you from head to toe because guess what? They are shocked that you survived the traps that they set up for you. They are shocked, hey man, that you out here still standing on your own. Let me tell you something. They hate to see you shine, but don't you dare dim your light for these karmics. Don't you dare dim your light because people, all they want to do is speak negativity over your life. But I'm here to tell you right now that you shall live and not die. I'm here to tell you right now that you shall continue to elevate like a parachute. I'm here to tell you right now, you put on them hammer pans and you keep on pressing towards the mark. Because guess what? The higher you climb, the more demons you're going to have to face. 
The higher you climb, guess what? The more demonic spirits you're going to really have to go through. The higher you climb, guess what? There's going to be so many people talking about you, but guess what? You keep on climbing that ladder of success. I don't care who walked out on you. I don't care, amen, who tried to destroy you. I don't care, amen, who tried to destroy your name. You better realize who you are. You better realize that the more they talk about you, the more you're going to elevate like a parachute. The more they begin, amen, to, to lie on you and to begin to mistreat you and to use you, guess what? The more God going to parachute blessings down for you. Let me tell you something. Get ready to take off to the greatest season of your life. Get ready to take off to the best season of your life. It don't matter who don't want to see you win. These karmics don't have the power and the authority over your life. Who cares what people think about you? You are different. You are unique. So the enemy going to come in like a flood. But I promise you when the enemy come in like a flood, God will lift up a standard up against the enemy. Because God don't like nobody messing with his chosen ones. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. It's a lot of people that are going to try to dim your light. Because guess what? You ain't trying to be the center of attention. Because guess what? You got the it already. A lot of people, amen, they're going to try to dim your light because you are just that great. A lot of people are going to come at you with these demonic spirits. And people are going to try to throw fiery darts at you for no reason at all. Because of the simple fact they can feel this new level of anointing that's over your life. They can feel this abundance getting ready to come into your life. They can feel you taking off to the next level on that parachute. They can see you walking towards victory. And you got to be careful because guess what? It's not, it's not flesh and blood. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. It's the trick of the enemy that's working inside these people to go against your destiny. But no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is of this world. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, get thee behind me, Satan, because I'm on my way to get what God has for me. And you got to understand, chosen ones, a lot of people just don't want to see you the best version of yourself. They want to see you out here struggling, out here miserable. They want to see you out here defeated. But I'm here to tell you right now, as long as you got King Jesus, who cares what these people think? As long as you got King Jesus, you don't need none of these fake phony people. You are the diamond in the rough, baby. Understand what I'm saying? You are the chosen one on the throne. And these people don't know who you are. They don't appreciate who you are. Guess what? God going to show them who you are. Understand what I'm saying? God going to reveal to these people who you are by proving a point through you. So I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones, you just keep on doing what you do best, baby. Because guess what? Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody elevate you like the Lord. Can't nobody rock you in the cradle of his arms like Jesus. Can't nobody love you like the Lord because he's your best friend. He's going to support you to the very end. He's going to make sure that you're going to eat and have food on the table, clothes on your back and a roof over your head every single night. He's going to make sure that your dreams are being accomplished. Amen. That your purpose is going to be fulfilled. He's going to make sure that you get to that upper room. But you got to seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So all these things can be added unto him. You got to learn how to resist the devil so he can flee in this season. You have to learn how to stay away, uh, stay out the way and continue to stay in your prayer closet. I'm telling you what's going on. Because these spirits are roaming every single where. We know the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But guess what? God comes that we might have life and we might have it more abundantly. These people can't stand you, but let me tell you something. They can't touch you. These people can't stand your gift, but let me tell you something. You will never betray your own gift. These people can't stand the fact that God chose you for the mission. But let me tell you something. They need to focus on their own mission. Understand what I'm saying? Because guess what? God is getting ready to take you to places you ain't never been. God is allowing you to make so much money you ain't never made before. God is getting ready to allow you to step into your new season of divine acceleration. And nothing, I mean nothing by any means necessary, is going to harm you or stop you from winning. Because you have to realize, chosen ones, you are a winner. You have, you have to realize that you are a soldier in the army of the Lord. And there is nothing that the enemy can do to stop you. So I'm here to tell you right now, these people and these karmics are going to tell on themselves. 
All you got to do is stay humble in this season. All you got to do is not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. I promise you, people going to start telling themselves. See, let me tell you something. See, this is what makes people really, really upset with you. It's because they can't figure you out. And you got to understand, people are stressed out trying to figure you out. People are calling you Houdini because guess what? Now they see you, now they don't. It's like night and day. Let me tell you something. They don't even know whether you're coming or going. They don't know if you're struggling or if you're succeeding. I'm here to tell you right now to keep your enemies guessed. Keep these foes on their ten toes. Because God is getting ready to bless you. In front of the same people that turned their back on you. Let me tell you something. People can't figure you out. And it bothers them. Oh, they get infuriated. They get mad. The enemy gets real mad because guess what? He can't even figure you out. He don't know what you're about to do next. Understand what I'm saying? See, why these people expect you to fall, you shall continue to rise. Why these people plan on your downfall, God is planning on your uprise. My, 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 my. Why these people are talking about you, God is constantly, guess what he's doing? He's elevating you, baby. So I'm going to tell you right now, chosen ones, keep these enemies mad. Keep them guessing. Don't let these people know what you're doing. Stop giving people your strength. Stop giving people all of uh, easy access to your anointing. Stop allowing people to have easy access into your divine heritage. Because I'm telling you right now, what God got for you is only for you. That's when you can tell who can grow with you and who can go with you. By who get uncomfortable, amen, by your growth. When people get uncomfortable by your growth, it makes them look ugly. <coughs> Excuse me. When people get uncomfortable by your growth, it makes them look crazy. Understand what I'm saying? People are telling on themselves because of how you are viewed differently now. You built different now. You talk different. You got a different calling. You got a different purpose of your life. You even walk different. You walking up with your head up. You never got your head down, baby. You always walking now with a smile on your face. You ain't never around here with a frown on your face anymore. Because guess what? God had elevated you. Do you understand what's going on? And these low vibrational spirits are going to come at you. This is why you got to be humble. Be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Don't go tick for tack with the devil. Understand what I'm saying? Don't dim your light for the devil. Don't dim your light for these people, amen, who feeling uncomfortable. Make them uncomfortable. And you better feel good doing it because guess what? You deserve it. Don't you be afraid to put it on blow and say you might as well get uncomfortable when you get in my presence because I'm going to get my shine on. You might as well feel uncomfortable in my presence because it's the anointing that destroying them demonic spirits that's on you. You might as well feel uncomfortable because guess, guess what? I'm not saying a, a mumbling word because I'm pressing towards the mark of the price of the high calling in the name of Jesus. And I feel fine, almighty fine. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. People are starting to tell on themselves. And they don't look good. It's just pretty much showing them how they really felt about you all alone. The veil has been lifted off of these people's faces. God was slowly lifting up the veil each and every day. I understand what I'm saying? That veil was just coming off that face. That fake ass mask they was wearing. It was just coming off their face the more God began to elevate you. And you got to understand a lot of people are not going to be comfortable with you growing because a lot of people want you to be where they're at. A lot of people wanted you to have a low vibrational spirit. They want you to be gossipers like them. They want you to be naysayers like them. They want you to talk about everybody like them. But they fail to realize, guess what? You got too much good on in you. You be bearing too much good fruit to be hanging out with these people who's bearing bad fruit. So sit back and let these people tell on themselves. Because they can feel you rising to the occasion. They can feel you rising to the next level. People don't got to know what you're doing. They don't got to know how much money you're making. They don't got to know, hey man, if you bought a new pair of shoes or not. People can feel the new level of anointing that is on your life. People can feel the Holy Spirit that just took over your life. 
People can feel your spirit. They don't got to know what you're doing. They can see it. They can feel it. And this is why you got to stay out the way. And this is why now I know what the Bible means when it says, be ye separate to come out from amongst them. Because every time you get around these karmics, your energy go all the way down. I don't know about you, Chuckles, but when I'm around people that get uncomfortable, when people are hating on me, my, my, my whole energy go down. And I got to get back by myself. I got to get back into my prayer closet. Because guess what? You're not about to stop what God is getting ready to do for me. Don't you be afraid to put in comment below and say, I got to remove myself from you, karmics, because you're not about to stop my, my divine acceleration. You're not about to stop me from parachuting to my divine winning season. And don't you forget what God got for you is only going to be for you. Don't you dim your life to make these karmics feel uncomfortable. Because we still chosen if they exit.